It's time for our expedition into Amandra. This is the episode I've been waiting for all season. This trip I hold near to my heart. It's one of my favorite experiences in the entire game. On this episode, we're going to find a couple critical upgrades, complete a handful of tasks, and discover a few megalithic sites. Welcome to Kola Peninsula. Let's get started, everybody. As always, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on notifications. I reconfigured the Acteon with a maintainer add-on, I added a roof rack, and I also changed the tires. Originally I had put on the OMD 1s, and after looking at the tire specs I realized that it was the OMD 3s that were the better tire. So that's what we're running in this episode. So we'll quickly make our way across the map, and we should be to the Amandra Gateway in just a few minutes. We're going to head across the Lake Cove map by cutting through the center and following the river shoreline. This is the way that we brought the F-750 back to the camp when we discovered it, and I think that it's possibly the quickest way to get to the Amandra Gateway. The Amandra map is pretty unforgiving, and since we haven't discovered the garage there yet, I set up the Acteon as an expedition vehicle by giving it all the repair points that it could carry. I used to install the fuel add-on for this trip, but after doing it a few times I realized that there is plenty of fuel along the way and that's not really the issue. And I started putting the maintainer add-on on the truck so that I'd have extra repair points along the way. I might also add that I do have the autonomous winch installed on this truck. On a previous episode, we discovered the GMC 9500 all-wheel drive, and on this episode, we're going to discover the all-wheel drive upgrade for the Western Star Twin Steer, which is going to prove very valuable to us in the future. So now that we're in Amandra, we'll head up the road a little ways and we're going to take the first right. This little back road here goes into the area with all the buildings. It's a little easier to get over there with this truck. You wouldn't necessarily have to go this way. You could drive through the mud pit and follow the road around, but this is the way I like to go. As soon as we get to the end of the road here, we have a task that we can activate. This is the old scrap metal task, where we'll have to bring a scout flatbed over here from the middle of the map. Then following the road up a little ways, you can see there's a trail that cuts off, goes up into the hills. It's a little bit rugged to go through here, 
but we should be okay. There's plenty of trees to winch to. We have an autonomous winch, but either way, take your time. It's easier to get through it right the first time than it is to come back around and waste a bunch of time winching yourself back up when you flip over. This road makes kind of a horseshoe on the hillside, and right up here at the top of the bend is where we'll discover the all-wheel drive upgrade for the Western Star Twin Steer. So now that we have that, we can get back to activating tasks. We'll head back down the road. I'm gonna dump some of my fuel into the truck. The Acteon is not horribly inefficient on fuel, but it doesn't have a very large fuel tank. So the roof rack is pretty necessary on these longer trips. I do have the high range gearbox installed to get more range out of my fuel. Um, you could install the off-road gearbox, but you'll probably struggle with higher fuel consumption if you do. This is the old lighthouse task. Get that activated. And we're gonna head up the road here, cross this ice. There's another task over here. Forecast for tomorrow. Now we can turn around and head back into this little town here, or whatever it is. And this final task here is nighttime delivery, where we need to transport this con loaf up into the mountains. So we're gonna bring it with us. It is fully repaired and refueled, and it will drive itself. I believe it even comes with uh, all-terrain tires installed on it and a raised suspension, so bonus for helping itself along the way. across the stream here. There's one spot there that has kind of a little crossing path. And now we're back to the way that we've been taking on this road. We'll just run up and take our little shortcut through the trees up to the airport. We had a mention in our Discord that you could come down the hill with a big enough truck and smash that tree down on the left there. That's one way to do it for sure. Get it out of the way. Let's run over here to the Warthog quick, and we'll repair the gearbox so that we can use that later on. Like I said before, the gearbox is damaged just enough to where it slips out of gear constantly. And we have plenty of repair points, so. Now we can get topped off with fuel, and we're gonna make our way up into the mountains there to the left. 
The snow here does get pretty deep. You're probably going to have to leave it in low with diff lock turned on, and it takes a little while, but you shouldn't have any trouble getting through. navigate our way through the trees. There isn't really any one right path through these trees. You just kind of have to find a whatever looks like an open slot and drive through it. It's a little more difficult to pull the con loaf through here, but if you get it close up to the back of your truck, it makes it a bit easier. And like I said before, if you get stuck on any of the trees, just try pulling the front of your truck sideways. That usually can get you through. It's typically a branch or something sticking out and hitting the bumper that's stopping us. back up with the road back here so we'll turn right we're gonna go up the hill just a little ways and then cut back left before we get to these big rocks on the hillside There's actually a trail here. You can't really see it. It does show up on the map, but we'll follow this trail up to the secret spot where we're going to deliver the loaf. Now the drop off point for this is another one of those ice traps that we were in before. And if you drive down in there, you're going to get stuck in there and you won't be able to get out. So what I like to do is just drive past it a little ways and then back the loaf down in there. Just make sure you don't slide in. I almost did there. And that takes care of it. Now we can follow the road up a little bit further. We're going to jump onto the Forgotten Civilization contract and there's a megalith right up at the top of the mountain. And the road goes up the hill there, but it's glare ice and without chain tires we're not going to make it. So I'm going to do a little rock climbing here on the left. There's plenty of trees to help you get up this. Just try not to flip over. It's not the end of the world but it does make it a struggle to get back up when you're on the hillside. And now that we've avoided that we're back on the road. We're going to cut up to the right again using some of these trees to help pull us sideways as we scale the cliff. You can attach your winch to another tree while you're still attached to the previous one, so you don't have to let go between winching. Sometimes that's beneficial when you're kind of hanging on by a thread and you're about to flip over and you don't dare let go. So just grab another one before you, before you do. Now we'll go up through the trees here again. Uh, there are a few different ways you can get through here. The trees are real tight. And I'll say this, this is the first time I've made this trip with the JAT tires with the duels in the back. And it's definitely a lot more challenging to squeeze through here with the extra tires sticking out the side. I used to do it with the singles and it was a lot easier, but it is more stable with the duels. And now we found an upgrade up ahead. This is the raised suspension for the Warthog. So now that we have that, We'll be able to use that truck a little bit more efficiently and then you can see the megalithic structure is right around the corner so we'll run up here and discover the waypoint that surrounds it there is a fuel trailer over here 
let's go get topped off before we continue on. I used to bring this fuel trailer with me down the hill because you probably, there's only one other time that we're going to come back up here again and you could probably do without it being up here. But I've also come to realize that pulling it down the hill, especially with this truck, is pretty challenging and it doesn't really make any difference in the big scheme of things because there's other fuel trailers along the map that we can use instead. So I'm going to just leave it there. follow the road back down you can see there's a property down there with some buildings on it that's where we're headed next and the road isn't hard to drive on it just has some big rocks you got to be careful you don't get yourself flipped over in the process Down here at the bottom, we have another task that we can activate. This is the Riddle of Geology. So we'll get that activated, and then we'll continue on down the road, and there's a lake at the bottom of the hill. We'll be doing some work in this area when we get towards the end of the region, but for now we're just going to cruise past it. We'll follow the shoreline of the lake on the left side here. Let me stress, please take your time when you're driving through here. These ice shards will shoot out and flip you over. There is absolutely nothing to winch to, or they'll just destroy your truck. Just take your time. There's not any reason to race through here. You'll be better off in the long run. Now coming out on the other end, we'll find another task. This is the new pool task. We need to deliver this cabin on skids to another lake. So we'll bring it with us. It is a little bit challenging to pull. It has some weight to it for this little truck, but it's not too bad. We can leave it here for a moment. We're going to jump off to the side and do the lost trailer task. Right up at the top of the hill there you can see the icon. There's a small scout flatbed that we need to bring back to this house. So let's just take this little trail up into the hills. It is pretty muddy, but it shouldn't be an issue. Just about tipped over. One nice thing about the Acteon is even these small breakable trees, you can winch to them and the truck is light enough to where it doesn't automatically break them right away. I usually take the left road going up into here. There is an ice spot here just ahead, but we have some trees here that we can use to winch to to get up there. If you follow the other road that comes up from the other side, there's a really steep hill and unless you have chain tires, there's virtually no chance that you're going to make it up it. I'm not using chain tires for this trip because even though it is doable, there are some really deep mud spots that we drive through and the chain tires would just make it take that much longer. Now when you're going down this hill, you're pretty much going to lose control because it's glare ice the entire way. So try to go slow, but if you start to slide sideways and almost tip over, just gas your throttle and 
try to get straightened back out again before you hit the bottom. Because once again, there's not really anything at the bottom that you can winch to. There are some trees, but I don't think they're close enough to get you flipped back up. And now that we're at the bottom, we can switch to the picture to remember task. We activated that one at the airport, and that's why it's important that we activated that task when we did, because there isn't any box over here that we can activate it while we're here. So if we hadn't, we would have had to come all the way back here again. And now we just got that one taken care of just by being in the area. I do think this is the best way to enter Imandra and get things discovered because then you can do the tasks kind of in an order and you can knock out quite a few of them right from the first trip in. We're heading back up the road. We're going to get this trailer delivered and then we'll jump back to the new pool task. We've already completed three off of our list, so we're getting some work done while we're going through here. Now just up ahead here, we're going to find the logging station, and there is a scout fuel trailer there, so we can get topped off once again. Once we get up to the intersection, we can just drop this cabin. We'll run over here, activate another task. I'm not going to top off on fuel just yet because we're going to drive up into the hills here and discover a watchtower and having that extra fuel on the roof just adds weight, makes the truck more tippy. We'll be coming back by here once we get it and then we'll top off. I usually take this way up into the hills instead of following the road. The road has some really big boulders on it and the way that they're shaped it's easier to come down the road than it is to go up it. So I'll follow the hillside up then we're going to cut down into that bowl where the watchtower is located. Make sure you drive up the hill before you turn so you don't accidentally roll down. And take your time going through here. Once again, there isn't anything to winch to. It's a bad place to tip over. Now we got our first watchtower of the map. I skipped the one by the airport because it's really icy going up in there. The only truck that we had with chain tires was the Dan, and I don't think that would be very enjoyable to try to get up there with the big front end sticking out. So we'll come back and get that one later. Let's head back down the road. These are the boulders I was talking about. They're easier to kind of go downhill over them than up with this thing anyway. Let's head back over to the log station, we'll get topped off with fuel, and then we'll carry on with that cabin.
As you can see, I'm struggling to pull this thing. I might point out that if you back up close to it as close as possible and suck your winch up tight, it kind of lifts up on the front of it and helps it to get through some of that deeper snow and mud a little bit easier. We're going to cut off the road here and go through the trees. If we follow the road, we're going to have to pull this thing through some of the deepest mud in this map, and it takes forever. But going through the trees here, it cuts down on the time quite a bit. The main thing is you just want to make sure you come out on the left side of those rocks that are downhill from us. just cruise right down to the shoreline. A couple years ago I was playing this map on my hard mode save and it was middle of the night. I was driving through here doing this and I didn't see the lake there because of how dark it was. I drove right off of it into the lake. <laughs> that was the end of my trip. So be careful you don't do that. We'll go up a little ways the drop off point is right here i believe that was the fourth task that we've completed now and then we'll find ourselves a little tuz we can hook up to yank that out of the lake somebody did what i did on my hard mode save drove right off into the water get it out of there and it can repair the gearbox so it's a little easier to pull the truck is partially damaged and then I'm gonna pull it from the front because I've noticed that on this map pulling from the back doesn't really seem to work very well when I try to use the winch to help it along it tries to drive forward while it's going backwards and it just ends up being like a break so I'm gonna spin it around and we'll pull it up through the snow here there's another task up here we can activate Now that we've gotten that one, we'll just continue on up the road. And I usually cut off, follow the shoreline up a little bit further just to avoid some of that ice and mud and snow as far as I can. And then now we'll have to cut back up onto the road. And then once you get to the intersection up here, instead of going left or right, we're just gonna go straight through it into the trees. This little tuz, there's only one place to activate the task and that's where we're gonna drop it off. So if we'd driven over there and activated it, then we'd have to drive back and get the car and drive over there again. And that's just a waste of time and fuel. So we're gonna bring it with us the first time. It does get a little bit tight through the trees here right at the end right before you get back out on the road, but it's not too bad. Just make sure you have the car pulled up tight behind you. Now it's just a short trip up the hill. We'll have to navigate some of these bigger rocks, but shouldn't be an issue. I'm gonna seal the fuel out of it and then make sure you activate the task, troublesome motor. We'll back it up and just pull it into this box. Try not to break down the bee farm. 
Okay, let's jump back to the Forgotten Civilization contract and we'll head up the road, discover this last megalithic site. It's kind of rocky through here, just take your time. And we're basically there. This is as far as we're going to go today. On the next episode, we're going to come back in here and get started delivering some medium logs. And we'll explore more of the map by doing so. Hope to see you then. Appreciate everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>